Christian cricket. English Christian cricket. Okay. A particular style that English Christian cricketers might particular uh, might apply if I wish. And he told them a parable, look if there's a fig tree and all the trees, as soon as they come out and leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away till all has taken place. Okay. So I'll read that again. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out and leaf, you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to this generation will not pass away till all this has taken place. And I'll read that again. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out and leaf, you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Okay, now, let's concentrate on this section. And he told them a parable, look at the fig tree and all the trees, as soon as they come out and leave, you see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. Verse 30. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. So Jesus is advising his disciples, consider those fig trees over there. When the leaves start appearing, summer's coming. When the leaves start appearing, summer's coming. So it's a natural sign that um, when that start starts happening, those leaves start appearing, summer's coming. No. So that's that's one of the uh, one of the basic lessons of a natural order of things. When this A starts happening, get ready for B. So that is some of the logic which Jesus actually knows. He knows that when summer uh, leaves start appearing, summer's approaching. So he has a concept on the, the seasons. And he knows that uh, when this happens, what's most likely to happen next is B. He knows that after A comes B. He understands that, does Jesus. That after A comes B. He knew his alphabet in Hebrew, one would imagine. He knew the, uh, the, the progress of things. You see that throughout the Gospel. He knew how things sort of progressed a bit. So he knew how things progressed a bit. Look, consider this, and then this. That's Jesus in some ways. Consider this, and look what happens next. So that's a lesson that English cricket, cricket Christian cricketers can take. We consider this happens, look what happens next. And that's what you can take in your analysis of the game.
You can sit there and apply the wisdom of Jesus, that basic principle which Jesus is teaching there. If you look at the game and when a certain style of play goes on, often things happen natural enough which follow it naturally enough. Usually predictable sort of things. Humans are strange creatures that uh, they can be unpredictable, especially when they're being worked out. But usually there are reactions which often follow in the four processes and the behaviours of human function. I'm not really sure if they're as predictable as Isaac Asimov's Harry Solon thinks in the Foundation Saga, because we go and change tack, don't we? We change tack when we're being worked out. That's probably something you need to know in your analysis of the game, and you're thinking through the competition for the opposition as well. Attacks can change. Game plans can change. And okay, once they, once you work them out and you're onto them, over well, the following week now you're lost because they changed the game plan. And that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. That when you play the next game, the game plan can change. So we see that Jesus is aware of the game plan of figs coming to summer. And English cricketers can know that if you go from A, B usually follows. But what you need to know as an advanced English cricketer is Jesus doesn't always know about B2. And B2 is when the opposition goes from A, so B is interesting, but they've already worked that out, so we'll go to B2. And they do a different game plan. And B3 and B4 and B2.7 and B3.9 and 5.64216X. <laughs> So the, le the lesson we learned there is that Christians, Christian English cricketers can potentially follow traditional ways of going from A, getting ready for cricket season, and in we go. But it's so predictable. And if you're just following the gospel, it's so predictable. just following that bit of the gospel and going from A to B. So what I would teach is that, you know, in cricket, for an English cricketer, for an English Christian cricketer, trying to outsmart your Lord and you think a bit smarter. He was only so bright, and he knew only so much. There's only so much detail and principle in that gospel, and when it's exhausted, <laughs> that's all she wrote. So when you conform to the image of Christ, you're just so damn predictable, aren't you? And the competition will come in one day and kick your fucking ass. <laughs>